Yo, YouTube. It's been a little while since I've done a live one. Uh, I'm about to transcribe a song called Into Black by a band called The Cold Stairs. Uh, I can't remember who it was that told me about The Cold Stairs, but I think they're amazing. They're like a rock, kind of old school rock band, duo drums and guitar and vocals and they sound amazing and uh yeah so i thought i'd transcribe a couple of their tunes i'm going to start with this one called into black which is i think their newest tune out it's killer got some awesome riffs in it not too hard they'll be really good ones for any kind of beginner intermediate guitar players to sink their teeth into uh i don't know much about it i haven't tried to work out the tune yet at all uh but i did email the band just to say, hey, would you mind if I do some live transcribing your stuff? And uh, they wrote back that that was fine. Chris, the guitar player, wrote back. Uh, and he did give me the hint that uh, it was tuned down a lot of the stuff. So I've tuned my guitar down a tone completely. Uh, I only just did a... And I haven't put thicker strings on, so I might have a few tuning issues. Um... How's the sound for you guys? Let me know if the sound is uh, rubbish uh, and I'll try and fix it. I'll do a little bit of transcribing, I think, for a bit. Um, and then uh, I'll probably do a little bit of freeform Q&A. Uh, and we might, if there's any uh, Cold Stairs fans around, you might be able to request some other, um, request some other songs. Uh, but I'm just going to get stuck into doing this one first of all, and then I'll do some Q&A sort of stuff with you all. <laughs> Good guess. That's easy. A little hit there. Do, I think it's octaves. Might be the full power chord, so I'll worry about that in a second. There's a one and two and three. And is that on the offbeat? The little there's a little hit. It is on the and. Uh, ah. One and two and three. No, that's it. Just one. Uh. Oh. Then it's held. Da, 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 da. And is it fell for? When does it stop? Three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One beat three. Uh, and beat three is the gliss. I think I'm going to call this riff one. This is probably going to happen a little bit, I would suspect, from having listened to it. because it sounds like I think those ones are further up the neck I'm going to uh, 6 root I think because that gets the slide but this power chord part for the verses is almost certainly here so power chords as riffs uh, yeah now we'll see your face again. Now we'll see oh. 
It's a new section. Now we'll see your face again. Now we'll see. Just tune down the whole time, which this guitar next probably going like, What are you doing, man? Yeah, that's way out. How's everyone? Everyone having a good day today? I had a big et morning this morning editing a video, which is a funny top secret video, but it's really cool. And uh, then I had lunch today with Yoshi and, and the guys from Boss, who are over from Japan. Went for a English pub lunch to talk about stuff that they've got coming up, which is cool. And now I'm doing a bit of this transcribing. I'm waiting for my, I've just downloaded Tom Quayle's new Ultimate Legato set. And um, I'm waiting for that to download and then I'm gonna do a bit of practice on that, I think, after. Let me just get this. Now we'll see you in the end. Like he goes up the neck, but he can't do it because he can't get back to that next chord in time. Uh, so it's twice around that other riff. Then we've got this bit, which is B flat, uh, B flat, do ba da da, F, do ba da da, C. Just once or twice. Now we'll see you again. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's I love that. I love this kind of riff. Pentatonic. <laughs> stuff. Like that. that sounds like he's doing something real complicated, but that's what he did. Definitely do that. and then I'm going to put a slide back with a question mark to check, and then one, three, and then hold. There's something else going. 
down there on that second. <laughs> singing along with myself there. still probably some of you don't know this song is called Into Black by a band called The Cold Stairs. Uh, then we went into we went from the chorus. That repeats that a few twice. And then there's another do do with the hold. My charts are really sloppy today. Look at that. That's, that's some messy chart writing that. Oh dear. I should improve my chart writing. For these things. Now let me just go back to the chord. Then 
do six 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 do Okay, I'm just going to have a play along of this one. I'm not sure I'm going to do the solo. I might do it another time. Doesn't sound a particularly tricky one to do, but uh, I just want to do this. Ah. 
we're getting there, hey. Oh man. That is a super fun tune to play in the out there. Definitely, this is the kind of stuff that I was loving transcribing uh, when I was a teenager. This is just, I mean, it's massive. It's so cool. Uh, great guitar playing here, Chris, on this record. I really enjoy it. Uh, let me have a look at, I'll take a few minutes to do some comments uh, now. Some of you noticed that I tidied up my studio a little bit back here. Last time I did a live stream, I was going, oh, your room's so messy. Um, okay, uh, where have we got? I've just picked up guitar and learning from your videos. Hey, Blaze, got an awesome new course starting December 21st. New beginners course is going live. It's been what I've been working on for, for ages. Uh, hey Adam, Mowers, Mowers, uh, Petra, hi from the USA, I'm a favourite teacher, thank you, you're very welcome Petra. Uh, Sergi, your post so positive, thank you for all this and your job on the channel, you're very welcome my friend, thank you. Uh, Free DJ from Italy, hey how you doing, Ross from Memphis, Jeremy, yes I'm having lots of fun, that's kind of the idea of this guitar thing, hey. JV says, hi, hi back to you, man. Uh, Jump Tart, love the videos and keep up the good work, man. Thank you. Hey, Kurt from Canada. Uh, hi, Jeremy from Israel. Well, we've got a big, very multinational audience today. This is cool. And Alex from Russia. Hey, we have got the whole thing going on. What's my favorite Pink Floyd song, asks Danster. 1020. My favorite Pink Floyd song. Hmm. Don't know. I really like stuff like money, but there's lots, lots of. I like lots of. Right, maybe comfortably numb as well. That's just an incredible piece of art. Anyway, um, uh, thanks, Mark Spencer, back there. Um, Amaruli in Malaysia. Hey, how you doing? I'm glad you enjoyed it. Actually, no one can see that because. Oh, you've used the word ass. You're not allowed to use the word ass, man. Otherwise it blocks your comments or it tells me I should block your comment. Hey, Harold, 73 years old, learning guitar on YouTube. After layoff for 50 years. That's a long layoff, dude. Good to have you back. Um, okay, I'm not sure how much further I can go back. Daniel, Danny from Edin, Edinburgh. It's supposed to be Edinburgh and you've just missed the end off. I'm not sure, man. Uh, hi Sharon and Nechi and Andrew White. Andrew likes the new practice tool. Glad you're liking it, man. It's taken ages to make that thing, but I'm pretty happy with it. I've been using it for my own practice as well. I think, think it's working out pretty good. Um, Cypher has Division Bell playing in the background. Yeah, some pretty seriously cool Floydy stuff. Uh, uh, Nell and Journey or Steve Perry? No. Floyd kind of works more in the context of albums. Yeah, that's true. Um, hi from New York. Saj Sa Sajard? Imam. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name with the two J's in the middle, man. I'm sorry my, if I'm being ignorant of your of pronunciation there. Um, Mitch says, I love the website and lessons. Have you ever thought about addressing some Coheed and Cambria songs? I don't know that band at all. If it's one band or two different bands, I don't even know that. That's how ignorant... My, my ignorance knows no bounds today. Sorry, Mitch. I'll have to go and look them up later. Uh, Chris here from Nambia. This is in Africa. Actually, okay. No, Nambia. Yeah, Na I was thinking, Nambia, sorry. I should have my glasses on, really, if I'm going to try and read this stuff. I'm really sorry. I was like, Nambia, that not that a fictitious place? Namibia. Of course, that makes a bit more sense. Sorry about that, uh, to, uh, Chris. That was classic, uh, poor reading. Uh, Felicia had a string of classical guitar. Yeah, that is missing, isn't it? Uh, Jordan from Australia. Where are you, Jordan? You know I'm a Tassie boy, right? Um, Akshunya. Akshunya. Love from India. I haven't been to India for ages. I need to go back. I had a fantastic time last time I went to India. Uh, hi, Brad in Sunderland, a bit closer to home. 
uh, poo from the moon. Random. Poo Ninja. What a very strange character you are. Coheed and Cambria is a great band. So fun. Okay, I'll have a look. I'll try and check them out. Thanks, Cabs. Um, Ania, 17, and your work really inspires me. Creatures from Poland. Cześć. I can speak a little bit of Polish. My missus is Polish, and so my daughter's half Polish, so I speak a little bit, but not much. Uh, is the Tasmanian tiger still around? No, the Tassie tiger is long extinct. Uh, John from Seattle. You're very welcome, man. Uh, appreciate you digging on the content. Okay, I'm going to do uh, one more. So here, any, any of you guys know the Cold Stairs before or listen to this band? Um, let me know. And if you've got a favorite song of theirs, let me know and I'll, um, I might do it now. Um, uh, what was the first song I learned on guitar? The first song I learned, well, I learned some blues and some I think, song called Green Door by Shaken Stevens or some stuff like that and Cool by Yara and, you know, like, you know, those kind of kid songs because I was only a little kid when I was learning. The first song um, I remember trying to work out on my own was the riff for Money for Nothing by Dire Straits. That was the first one I tried to work out on my own. But I was playing a lot of Rolling Stones and Chuck Berry and that sort of stuff before that, I think just getting taught by friends and things. Um, any favorite musician from India? Uh, there's a great guitar player called Amit Chatterjee it's from India, but I don't know much about Indian music. I mean, Ravi Shankar, of course. Anushka Shankar, that, you know, that Anushka's incredible. Um, thanks, Victor. That's nice of you to give me some good vibes there. Hi from... Uh, Texas bike rider from Houston, Texas. Uh, one of my assistants lives in Houston, in Texas. Do you do any music theory lessons that I could purchase? What a funny question, Blaze. Yes, I do. If you go and check out the, if you go on the website and you click on the theory thing yeah, under musicianship, I've got a whole massive theory course. Um, and no, I didn't pay Blaze to ask that. I could have. Maybe I should pay to ask comment, ask about stuff like that. Uh, so uh, yeah. Go and have a listen to some Cold Stairs if you want and um, let me know if there's another song. I'm just going to play this one more time just to soak it into my head and then I might check with, um, I'll send this a video link, this video link to Chris and see if he can um, uh, enlighten me if I'm doing anything wrong. I'll f turn around a little bit more so you can see my hand as well. There we go. Covering up this beautiful Echo Fix unit and my chocolate stash up here. I live on chocolate, see. Exercise and chocolate. This stuff's so good. Divine organic rich dark chocolate with refreshing lemon. Ah, chocolate and lemon together. That's what life's all about, that. Um, do I know Nick Kershaw? I know who he is, but I don't know him personally, no. Okay, bye-bye Pooh Ninja. That's just like the weirdest tag ever. Why would you call yourself that? Anyway, one more little rip through this and then we'll tr see if we can do something else. Waitrose own chocolate. <laughs> A little bit more gain there. <laughs> don't like when you suddenly drop their tuning by a tone without putting thicker strings on. They're like, nah, don't do that to me. Okay. One more play through this now. I'll do one more tune, I think.
<laughs> well, I got nearly all of the way through. I even got the ending. I remember to do an extra one at the ending before it went to the riff. I wrote the riff four times. It was the riff three times. Fail. Anyway. Uh, Henning poorly inspired the handle. Don't know what that means. Hey Justin, helping us all learn to play guitar. Hey Jared, guitar is great. Hi, guitar is great. Hi Artem. Uh, congrats on the million subs. Thanks, Great White North. Uh, Bogdan loves my vibrato, yeah, except I keep slipping off the top of this because the strings are a little bit close to the edge of the neck compared to my pink guitar, the Vivi. Um, so, yeah, when I'm doing the vibrato, sometimes I'm slipping off the top, which is a bit annoying. What is my favourite song to play on guitar? I don't really have a favourite song, I'm afraid. I uh, started playing three years ago. I frequent your blue lessons on blues licks. Thanks, John. Um, it's awesome you're from Tassie. I always thought to live there. Never been. I'm from Melbourne. Hey, Jordan. Yeah. Melbourne's a fantastic city. Hope it's not been too hot. My mum was there recently. She said it was 41. That's like... That's... 41 is stinky hot, man. Okay. So I think that one's pretty much ready for a lesson. Uh, it's a great fun song to like for jamming over as well, like G minor pentatonic. You can really rip it, and it's really good fun. Or G, what was I playing? G Dorian-y kind of stuff, I suppose. Uh, works really well. Uh, nice art in the back. Yeah. Well, actually, I was going to say that to all my daughters. Amazing paintings, but there's not. There's a, like a a photo of some. Uh, a David Bowie, Prince and Lemmy dolls. That's that thing. Where is it? There. It's a really cool picture my missus bought it for me for Christmas last year when I was all miserable because Prince and Lemmy and Bowie all died. Yeah. Horrible year that was. Anyway. Uh, so I should do another. I'm going to do one more Cold Stair song, I think. But I don't know which one to do. Have we got any? Is there any? Are there any Cold Stairs fans here that want to request one of the tunes or shall I just do the most played one which seems to be called Sleeping With Lions uh, I've not heard that I've, I think I've only listened to this one record called Waves actually or maybe I listened to Mountain hmm in which case I would know the song last time when I went to Nam, I listened to this album all the way to well, it was, no it, was, it wasn't that when was I listen to it I went to Canada for the workshops or something. I'd, I spent, it was the only song I had downloaded onto my phone in Spotify, so I listened to it over and over. I think, it, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, but I didn't know that song very well, so it's that Into Black song, Way, so maybe, yeah, maybe I was listening to Mount, I can't remember. Um, and George Michael, yeah. Uh, Mr. 47's learning his D chord, well done. Floyd Rose on a Les Paul of Crime. Yes, I don't think that should be done. Uh, cheers, Memes Bear. Merry Christmas, Steve. Snow is falling, not here. Rain is falling. Um, okay, what am I going to do? Am I going to do this sleeping with lions? I've never heard it before, so this will be a good test. It's had 2.2 million streams on Spotify, so somebody likes it. Let's see, I'll probably kick into it and it'll be a synth song. I'm just kidding. Better not be. Sleeping with lions. Here we go. This is this is a proper test. I've I honestly not heard this song before. Hopefully it's in normal tuning or it'll be a real pain in the bum. Here we go. Sleeping with lions it is. Is 
sounds like there's more notes than that. <laughs> Probably not the
anyone remind, reminds me a little bit of Creeping Death by Metallica, that little riff. That was fifth fret, semi tone bend, five three five. <laughs> fairly simple as far as the riffs go. This was called Sleeping with Lions by the Cold Stairs, just because that caught my eye up there. Somebody, what is this called? Ear practice. Yeah, this is, well, it's transcribing. It's me working out the song as I go. Uh, so this. Uh, I can't remember how the riff goes. Do, boo, do, do, because I didn't write the rhythm right. Uh, 
another riff for that tune. Um, so that's Sleeping With Lions by The Cold Stairs. Definitely a band that you should go and check out if you haven't already. They're relatively new, I gather, but they're um, very, very cool. They're, it's like great old school, proper rock and roll. No frilly auto tuny rubbish going on here. Just proper guitar riffage. Great drumming, great singing. Yeah, really good. So I'm going to do a little quick bit of Q&A and then I'm going to have to love you and leave you for today. Hours about my limit for this sort of stuff and ah, still haven't quite finished downloading my ultimate legato set from Tom Quayle. So I'm going to do a little bit of video editing for a bit and then come out. Oh man. Heavy day in the gym this morning as well. Really horrible. Ah, doing snatches. This weightlifting thing that really hurts. I really don't like it at all. <clears throat> really hopeless at it as well. Um, so weird to see Justin without his hat. Sorry, man. Sorry if it freaks you out. I, I, I don't wear the hat all the time. It's not like I live in it. In fact, I don't think I've ever worn that hat outside of either videos or occasionally like a guitar show or something like that. I might take it. Um, for transcribing like this, you've got to have a lot of guitar marathons in your fingers. Well, yeah. I mean, it helps to have played guitar a lot, but it's it's practice. If you want to learn how to, like this band is great for learning riffs because there's nothing too fancy going on, you know. So if you want to get into, if you're learning to transcribe, you probably wouldn't find a better band to, you know. You need to detune your guitar tone. That would be the one thing that would make it, if you didn't know to do that. Might make it a little confusing. Freddie King was what got me to guitar. Do you have a favorite tune or solo of his? Yeah, probably like Hideaway. I know it's a classic for Freddie King, but it's such a great tune. Uh, don't I like King Crimson, but I'm not like a huge fan. Like I've heard it and gone like, yeah, this is really cool, great musicians and all that, but it doesn't it doesn't twang at me and you know it doesn't really get me going. But they're a fantastic band, of course. Um, okay, I think that's it. If there's not many more questions there, hello, Oscar. Uh, yeah, I think I'm about done on this. I better go and do some proper work and stop enjoying myself so much. Uh, I will uh, endeavour to crank out some lessons on this. I'll just check with uh, Chris that I got these riffs correct. And uh, assuming I did. Uh, <laughs> crazy car doors. Do you do giveaways? I'm a beginner and I haven't got everything I need. Yeah, I haven't got everything I need either. <laughs> you cheeky bugger. Uh, I do sometimes do giveaways, though. Yeah. Uh, thank you, John. Uh, thank you, Climber. Uh, I don't know Vincenti Amigo. Ever take a stab at flamenco guitar? Oh, yeah. No, I can't play flamenco guitar. I'll say it for Toffee. I play classical guitar a bit, um, but I don't... Not that I would do lessons on. Just recreationally on sunny days in my garden. Play for the birds and the dog. Um, okay. Have yourselves a lovely week. I may be back later if I decide after Tom's pack downloads I might embarrass myself by trying to do his pack with people watching that'd be pretty interesting because I think it's going to be pretty difficult uh, but we'll see I'm sure I'll see you all before Christmas at any rate it's a really light bright light like there oh it's a, no can't it must be a reflection of the light or is it the actual light light no it is actually that's my I mean, it looks really weird. It looks like some sort of holographic thing because you can't see the edges of the the light box. It's all blurry. How bizarre. Anyway, I digress. Uh, small things amuse small minds like mine, unfortunately. Um, sorry, it looks like there's a couple of views. Just kidding. Um, I'm always 50 years old and my wife asked me the other day, why do you play guitar? A couple of questions from Joe. Is it normal for wrist for brother to feel completely unnatural, awkward at first? Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just uh, most things when you first start to try and do them, it would um, it feels pretty awkward. <laughs> and what kind of sweater is it? It's a cashmere jumper. I don't know, I can't remember where it comes from. A black or grey cashmere jumper. Uh, what do I think about Squire Tellies? I don't know much about Squire Tellies, so I don't really want to give an opinion on that one, I'm afraid. Um, I was like, what is it? I keep seeing things in there, because I'm not used to seeing my reflection like this, so while I'm looking at stuff, and I was like, what's that gold thing down there? It's my sun face pedal. I need to get that plugged in. Uh, Sylvester Stain with the silly question. 
what kind of guitar is this one that I'm holding? This is made by Sir. It's called a, well, they're originally called a Thin Line Telecaster, the Fender version, but this is Sir um, brand. Yeah, I've got a tuner stuck on the end. S-U-H-R, Sir. Uh, very, very excellent high-end guitars. Not very cheap, but um, yeah. I kind of feel like they're better than the Fender versions. They're like the Crafts and chip is nicer but that's probably not true like the Fender makes some pretty awesome instruments but I uh, they're just yeah they, I, I prefer this I uh, got the ox attenuator yesterday I love the ox use the ox box all the time you can see it's just behind me there my right I put the back of my seat the brown and gray thing I use it all the time I'm not using it right now I'm using the Kemper profile of it um, yeah okay look I really have to go and crack onto some work so, uh, love you and leave you. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you for plenty more very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.